Jellyfish Project was started in 2021 to study the presence, abundance, and distribution of jellyfish in Hong Kong waters. So we are a citizen science project that uh, asks anyone anywhere in Hong Kong if they see a jellyfish to contact us through the website, use iNaturalist and social media to share your sightings of jellyfish. And uh, we do provide species identification posters much like this one where people can get an idea of some of the things that they're looking at. And if you, you then submit some of your sightings, I'm happy to share information that I have about uh, what you've seen. Citizen science is a vital component of the Hong Kong Jellyfish Project because jellyfish are infrequent. Uh, they have different cycles that uh, we need more, to do more research on. So it's very hard for one or two people to accurately be able to assess jellyfish. And especially marine science is, is difficult to do just because it's harder for people to get out onto the water. So having hundreds of people looking for jellyfish is, uh, is far more effective than having just one or two people. So every citizen scientist's contribution is really important to the project. Uh, the excitement, uh, exciting things from the Hong Kong Jellyfish Project is, is certainly we've discovered some, the presence of some, some newer species records here in Hong Kong. The, the study of jellyfish is quite limited and a lot of the records are old, so being able to examine what is here and uh, find new species records has been a really cool thing. Well, we've also been able to examine seasonality of species, so a lot of people assume that uh, there are more jellyfish in the water in summer, and uh, our research has found that that's not quite correct. We, we tend to see more of them in late spring because they've bloomed and grown, and as the monsoon switches, they get blown to different parts of the, of the China coast. So the, we've been able to update old records and old research on jellyfish here in Hong Kong. Most people think of jellyfish in the context of our states because that's the, the greatest impact. And people do get stung in Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Jellyfish Project is collecting information about sting so if you do get stung you can share a report of that and photos of that sting on the website hbayjellyfish.com internationally research has also been done about being able to predict jellyfish when they show up and where they show up so with long enough data sets we're hoping to be able to contribute in that way and have a greater understanding of when jellyfish show up where they show up in Hong Kong waters and then people who are out bathing or out recreating in the water can have a greater understanding of whether there will be jellyfish and what they can do about it.